So, as you can see, I put together side by side a Jay Alvarez travel video and my travel video I made from a summer trip. Jay Alvarez grew famous based on these types of videos he would make. On the internet, it garnered thousands of retweets and millions of YouTube views. These types of experienced travel videos are what inspired me to become a videographer myself. I think what made these types of videos go viral was because people thought of it as goals. They see this guy traveling the world with a hot girlfriend. Who wouldn't want to do that? It attracts men and women being that they both inspire to do the same thing as this couple. YouTube has become a worldwide phenomenon. Many content on YouTube is considered new media because it is on an online site that not only lets accounts post their work, but it gives creative participation for the viewers and it builds a community with other YouTubers and their channels. For this media production assignment, I decided to look at travel videos specifically like Jay Alvarez's. Videographers create and post these types of videos. Their main goal being to attract a large audience so their content goes viral over social media. They want to gain sponsors and make money off of being a social media influencer. These videos have a powerful globalization based off the fact that viewers in other countries can access the content. These videos they post consist of beautiful shots and pop culture music. This is important because it gives a way to connect with the viewers because they like to watch this sort of content and hear the music being played in the background. Because everything was filmed by the videographer themselves, this is their intellectual property. What can get a little messy though is the music they use. I personally get my music by using a site to download it as an mp3, save it to my computer, then import it into the video. I think other videographers do the same. As long as you give credit to the artist in the description of the video, it usually doesn't take it down. Now, since I am a videographer myself, I hope it continues to be that way so I can continue to post my content. Now, other apps like Instagram and Twitter don't have as much copyright law, so you really can post anything you want. These kinds of videos have been posted in recent years. If it really bothered the artist, this content would not be found on YouTube. When it comes to the three types of convergence, these videos are an example of cultural convergence. An aspect of cultural convergence is the participatory culture. This is because this channel's platform, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, gives a way for consumers to comment, share, or repost. Social media gives producers the opportunity to communicate with everyone and shape cultural trends. Other than cultural convergence, they also fall under technological convergence. Videographers use a combination of many technologies when making their videos. They film their content, find a song that matches it, edits it together, then post it on many social media sites. It has become so simple to create that many people do it. Making these types of videos are known as being trendy. Seeing that videos have a huge impact on society today, Many companies, whether it be a small business or corporate, want to put videos out on social media to bring in more business. They hire people who can make it happen. Even the wedding and senior photography, making a short film over the experience has become a norm and super popular. The reason why I love doing what I do is because not only am I capturing the moments, I can also look back on them and of course get as many retweets as possible. This is the final call for Capo San Lucas. Passengers should proceed to gate number 23 immediately. Ship without a name that is sailing to the middle of the sea. Water is deeper than anything I've ever seen. Jump right in and swim until you're free.
So pictures over and over <laughs> and over again. Don't go on a trip with Chloe. Mom, stop.